Hello everyone and happy Transfer Tuesday. Transfer Tuesday is the day of the week where we move our money in the right direction, no matter which financial goal we are working toward and no matter how much we can afford to transfer or contribute. I don't have too much for me going on with Transfer Tuesday, but I do have one transfer or contribution that has happened over the last week and then I will make another, I'm gonna do an investment for this video as well. This is kind of random, but quick reminder that I do now have a nonfiction book club and we will be having our first meeting this month. And that is, I believe, November 24th, which is a Sunday. And for November's book club, we are reading The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, I believe is how you say it, Ravikant, I'm not sure. Uh, but I have been reading it just about every single morning. I'm already 70% complete with the book and I've been taking so many notes but, but with this book club I want it to be very conversational. I know that the first meeting is like right before Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, but hopefully still quite a few people can attend and I plan on guiding everything but I just want the conversation to flow. Um, I do plan on typing up my notes because I wrote down the things that uh, stood out the most to me and the things that I want to take from it so I will be typing those up and uh, you can you can have those. I'll, I'll share them as a PDF. Also this week I will be sending out an email of what the book will be for December. So I believe I'll send that email on Friday. I already sent out a survey of between four options and uh, gonna be taking a look at those results and send the answer by Friday. So if you're interested in joining in November or if you wanna join in December, then be sure to get on my email list for that. But okay, let's go ahead and talk about the transfer that has occurred over the last week. So first of all, happy November. Uh, this is the first Transfer Tuesday of November, but I did get paid on the final day of October, October 31st or Halloween. And because of that, I also contribute to my 401k. I do 5% of my paycheck, so that is $50. And then I match that myself as my company. So that is, and I do a Safe Harbor 401k, meaning it's 4%. So that's $40. $90 altogether going to my solo 401k. That is always exciting. And honestly, now that I'm self-employed and the 401k is kind of a recent thing for me, I always forget about it. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's there's still $90 going every other week to my 401k. And that, that feels really good just because it's, it's happening in the background. And uh, yeah, I, I'm glad I'm still able to contribute to that. And that's the only thing that has happened for me. No other transfers. But what I'm going to go ahead and do right now is invest in my brokerage account. Just a reminder that these transfers do not need to be anything crazy. I have some credit cards that I, I made purchases on recently, so I know I need to still pay those down. I paid for the house, so I don't have like a huge amount chilling in my checking account right now. So I'm, I do feel comfortable moving the $5. Um, and honestly, now that I think about it, I believe I added... Uh, I think I did one more transfer, I at least scheduled it. So I'll have to check on this, but I did transfer or at least scheduled $125 to go to my car insurance sinking fund. I did get my policy renewal, like the update on that. So they said it's gonna be 755 for the next six months. Uh, I suppose that's fine, that's a pretty big jump, but I don't know, I, I may start looking around over the next couple of weeks and switching to a different provider, but I had recently switched. Uh, I would say it was like over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, so I may look into switching, but I don't know that I even want to spend time doing that right now because yeah, I'll probably save it for the, the next six month premium. And I did go ahead and schedule that. Like I'm going to pull from my sinking fund to cover that, my car insurance sinking fund to pay for the 755. But I realized I wanted to make the transfer, the 125 as soon as possible so that I could at least gain a little bit more interest, even if it's just like 50 cents or a dollar throughout the month while the money sits in there. And then I actually make the payment, I believe it's like November 30th, and then I will pull from my high yield savings account to cover that. But aside from that, I didn't make any other transfers and I'm pretty sure I scheduled it so it may not have even happened. I'll get some screenshots and, and figure it out. But let me go ahead and add money to my Vanguard account. Lately, I've been viewing my brokerage account as more of like an emergency fund as well. So I've just liked the idea of putting more money there instead of to my emergency fund. And it's nothing crazy, you know, like I'm just going to do $5 like I did last week. I do still want to grow my emergency fund. Like the goal for the year is 15000 But 
when it's like these five dollar transfers i would rather just put it just invest it into my brokerage accounts obviously i'm gonna see better returns by having the money invested i know i could lose the money uh if the market goes down but i just i feel pretty good about doing that because um just with my income and my general savings so yeah that's what i'm doing today i added five dollars to my brokerage account i am investing that in vgt which is vanguard's information technology etf um, I did have four cents in my settlement fund, so you'll see 504 on the screenshot. That's gonna buy me about 0 0.0085 shares of VGT. The market did go down for the end of October and y'all saw that my net worth decreased, but now the market is actually, things are way back up. So my brokerage account is now at $10,328.66. I don't know what to expect after, you know, the election results and that sort of thing with the stock market, but it's not a concern to me. Uh, I just will continue to invest basically dollar cost averaging or putting in lump sums when I can. So I actually only have like 20 seconds of footage left on this SD card. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Reminder to make a transfer if you haven't already, even if it's a dollar, even if it's thousand dollars, whatever you can do, go for it. Please feel free to comment that down below. But otherwise, thank y'all so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one.